what's up guys so in the last episode i sold all my unusuals for pre keys and at the end i got 263 tf2 keys and also i mentioned that i might resell everything for csgo items once again and the only reason i mention it so i can upgrade uh, to something better now it would actually make sense um because it would be very harder to upgrade fr from the low tier tf2 unusuals to something bigger and in fact I would lose a lot of profit while doing that. And I got an idea of upgrading everything into something gold tier, like another Orb Dragon Lore or maybe some really expensive knife. The only reason why I've decided to do so is to see what is the most profit I can get in a single trade. Now I think the most profit I ever made was around 500 keys of clear profit in a single trade. The thing is that I really wanted to beat this quote-unquote personal best and in my opinion I'm able to get way more profit if I try harder. So I will see about that. By the way I think I've uh, talked about this already but yeah I will mention it once again. So the more expensive item you have the more you can ask for it and therefore you can get some more profit for it. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do in this episode. I will upgrade all of my items into one or two and then ask for insane overpay. Anyways, I will try to mention Cisco Trace in this episode really briefly because they are not that important. Indeed, I made some profit in them, but it really isn't anything significant. And in fact, these are all TF2 training series, so it gives sense. Let's get into the first trade. So, as I've mentioned not long ago, I used to have a lot of spare CSGO keys in my inventory. And that's one of the main reasons why I've decided to upgrade everything I used to own for one, maybe two uh, expensive CSGO items. So in the last episode I had 263 TF2 keys and I sold it quickly to the first seller for only 230 CSGO keys pure. Which is actually the normal ratio when selling CSGO keys for TF2 keys. And I already explained how to calculate it in the first episode of the series, so if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out later. Anyways, let's move on to the second trade. I bought yet another Orb Dragon Lord Factory New for 599 CSGO keys pure. And at that point and state of the economy, uh, it was actually a pretty good deal. I got like 20 keys for free in this trade, so yeah. After I bought the op, I got few leftover keys, so I've decided to buy some more knives with them and actually start switching to TF2. So in the second trade I bought this knife for 25 keys pure, in the next trade I bought this uh, Huntsman knife for 17 keys pure, and um, so in fact now I have two Dragonlords Factory new, Karambit Vanilla, Huntsman Forest DD Pad and the uh, M9 Bayonet Borrow First. So, right at this point, uh, Dragon Lord started to drop a lot in terms of price. I've decided to invest um, rather into the rubies, because believe it or not, um, rubies have a pretty stable price, and they were actually rising at that point, so I've decided to invest in them. So it didn't take long, and I got an offer of someone's M9 Bayonet Ruby for my Dragon Lord Factory new. Now I took this quickly, the M9 Ruby can be easily sold for 700 CSGO keys pure. So the Dragon Lord was getting quick sold at this time for 500 and less keys pure. So I would say at least 200 keys of clear profit in this trade. So in the next trade I sold my M9 Boral Forest for a flip case hardened and M4 Cyrex. So he overpaid and even added Cyrex for free. So finally I've reached the point where I can start reselling everything again for TF2 unusuals. So I went to the Vatican unusual trade server. So I spent like two hours on there advertising and stuff and at the end I got a trade. So I sold three of my low tier knives and basically all of my worthless items from CSGO for one single uh, TF2 unusual. Now I'm really happy about this trade. At first he offered only for the Karambit uh, vanilla I used to own but I actually saw his unusual gibbous uh, in his inventory and I've decided to offer on it myself. So I offered everything I had for his unusual and uh, at this moment I was actually pretty shocked. He quickly accepted and uh, the trade went through. So this head is actually Dark Blaze Galvanized Gibbous. There is currently only one guy who is selling it uh, for 300 keys pure I think. So I bought this for around 125 keys in CSGO knives. Yeah, you probably think that this is a really insane deal. Well, let me just show you the next trade and the final trade of this episode. So as I told you in the beginning of the episode that I will try to make the most successful trade in my life. Yeah, I'm talking about this trade. 
I sold my old Dragon Lore for a Scorching Flames Unusual Team Captain. Now, this is actually the most profitable trade I made um, in my life. And I made more than 1000 keys of clear profit in this trade. And uh, when I think about it now, I think I never owned this high tier hat before. I think the m second most expensive hat I used to own was the um, It's a Secret to Everybody Unusual Team Captain. But this hat is actually just a whole another level. So it looks amazing. Anyways, I still got the M9 Bernard Ruby left to sell. Yeah, um, I was actually offered the golden pen for the M9 Ruby. And when I was trying to accept it, it somehow uh, got me an error. And he actually managed to sell that um, golden pen uh, to someone else. Anyways, I will still look for some other offers. And I hope I can officially switch to TF2 in the beginning of the next episode. After this trade is finished, I can promise that I won't switch to CSGO anytime soon. However, I'm still not quite sure if I should downgrade uh, my gold tier unusuals for a ton of cheap ones. The thing is, when I uh, downgrade all my items to something cheap, like uh, let's say 30 unusuals, I can make many more trades uh, to fill up the series. I can also make the, tw um, the series uh, more frequently, and I can upload more frequently. But the main point of this series is to reach the top backpacks, to the top inventory. Therefore, it would give more sense to me uh, to trade with gold tier hats uh, rather than uh, with low tiers. Because take it like this, uh, when I have a gold tier hat, I can easily make uh, like 200, maybe even 500 keys of clear profit. And when I trade with low tier hats, I can make like 5 to even, I don't know, 20 key profit. They might uh, take a while to sell, but honestly, I think it's still a bit more worth it. If there is anything else you would like to see or maybe know uh, in the next episode, let me know and I will try my best to do so. Anyway guys, thanks for all the support and see you guys until the next one.